vapor barrier thing sort of went flop. <laughs> That's all on the inner side. So that, uh, <laughs> that was pretty shit basically. Now I noticed, um, yeah, I sort of tapped it down a little bit with my foot. Uh, but even before I tapped it down with my foot earlier on in the night, um, yeah, I had to get up and uh, go to the toilet and it was already like this within the first two hours or so. But the rest of it went alright, I ended up sticking the window down a little bit. I just had that bent in a little bit. Yeah, it sort of folded back up when I closed the door again. Long and short of it, most of this is pretty good. There's a little slight bit here and there. Except where these two pieces folded, because that's like two halves. And then it just freaking comes straight in through there. Uh, my head's up about here. We've got one or two where it didn't actually do much. It's like it ran instead. And... Uh, yeah, just a little bit on this one here. So yeah, ventilation's definitely a thing. I don't know if we're going to have a ventilation fan. Uh, and and I've got those solar ones that extract out, um, that you put on and they extract out. I don't know. I'm going to play around, test the solar panel, see what voltage they run out. I might be able to run it off 3.7 uh, volt battery uh, in a... USB battery bank um, overnight of which I have one in an old Bluetooth speaker where the speakers turned to shit but the battery's still good so anyway I also found out something too trying to get the window down last night the bloody batteries turned to shit on this thing it's been doing one or two slow cranks and uh, yeah well yeah I've actually got to go and jump start in a minute after I have breakfast so <laughs> Yeah, I had the, the internal light on for about a minute because all the door lights are usually turned off with this and it's been sitting here for three days and the batteries ran flat over unlocking it and locking it three times and uh, yeah, having the light on inside for about a minute. That's it. <laughs> so the battery is indeed buggered but by hell, that's some bloody condensation. <laughs> so you never really get enough info on condensation on youtube it's all a little bit hazy and and you don't sort of get real answers and and stuff it's just you know and you gotta actually try to find it out exactly what happens and it's any gaps in reflectics so that's dipped in a bit it's probably not pushed up hard enough and uh yeah, places with no reflectics at all, even ones that you think you've got a bit of a, a vapour barrier on, but I'll just go around again, I'll show you how I... There's another little factor that played out here too. I ended up using... <sighs> that didn't do a fucking thing, of course. Um, <laughs> I ended up sleeping with a fitted sheet on the top. It's sort of good, you can hook it into your shoulders and the, <laughs> the sheets don't slide off. Um, yeah, ended up using four, and then I ended up, they started two went out, and then I let up another two, um, and that sort of kept me going all right. Uh, oh, I keep forgetting to tell you guys, I put the sink in. Yeah, I've got something laying in that. Oh, handkerchief. Um, but yeah. I haven't done the actual pipe for it yet because I'm going to have to take all of this out. I want to put the fridge in and I don't want to have to re-pull the pipe out through the wall there. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, you can't have a full-size pillow. It just doesn't seem to work. Your head's too bloody close to the top and you just and then next thing you know, you sort of slid forward too much because the pillow's taken up so much room, you slide forwards too much and uh, even when you don't if you fully stretch your feet you'll sort of go on yeah move that maybe an inch forward 
as you can see I said it yeah I moved it an inch forward by tapping it with my feet that was only within the last short while though the condensation was already building up on the windscreen before that uh, but that's fully stretching myself out because just having a pillow there seems to make you slide down the bed a little bit more and honestly that pillow was so big my head was just about touching the freaking top of the tailgate so I got a cushion from out of this house I'm uh, parked at and uh, yeah so there we go it's uh, yeah the things you learn and, and this is what you got to do you got to do a trial run with everything to learn because there's always something you didn't learn and, and I was really just going to go get a full size um, or use my normal you know full size pillow for this if not buy a separate one just for the van I need to find out that no you just eh, your head's just all all wrong with one and uh, it might be to do with the mattress because the mattress sinks beautifully and um, and you know it's it's not a super super hard mattress and I've got a feeling my one at home originally when I first bought it was a lot harder than this is and because of a slight a bit of a, a sink in it uh, because it's so soft you sort of, you know you, you feel like your head's taller than it is in your bed at home type of thing so you test all these things and um, yeah I also realized I had a little bit of light creeping through the bottom there too so that is a bit of duct tape there but underneath that string there that's a bit of light creeping that could have been part of the fact of the condensation but but you've got a big gap it's like freaking three quarters of an inch there so <laughs> that's probably what really caused it and I, I thought I would be like I have seen this thing where they um, a guy who had converted a van over in England was saying that what it really is, it's bare metal. Any bare metal is what the condensation goes on. And I thought I'd get something having my head here and huffing around this place all night. And, you know, basically, there's nothing. It's all perfectly dry. What I did notice, though, strangely enough, when I was getting out to go to the toilet, is that one there. <laughs> That was pissing wet. <laughs> so that's just your, your inner side of your door here. Um, yeah, and that's like, really speaking, that's about the only bit of actual steel there is. Um, and yeah, so... So yeah, it definitely is directly related to bare steel in the van, and that's why he had a, a very small cargo van, and, and he put uh, marine carpet which is a sort of carpet they use on the uh, on the deck of a lot of boats uh, you know recreational type boats uh, and uh, he put all that all over the roof and that and you've probably seen that in other people's vans anyway but yeah I must admit like my gosh this is aside from these gay ass little pom-poms this is actually I was surprised how warm I was in here really speaking you know, with a couple of lousy candles going, you know, four candles and then drop down to two with the window open. You know, it, it's, you know, one sheet, one throw, and another one that is more or less just covering me feet. And, and I pulled it part way up here. And, yeah. So, yeah, the only real annoying thing was trying to get my damn pants on. My gosh, that was a bit of a <laughs> loop through to get the... The full length trousers on here uh, so I might be waking up every morning to get into shorts before I get in the driver's seat just so I don't have to freaking first pull them all up as I'm hunched right over I'm trying to pull my pants up and then I've got to pull it up to my knees tight before I can then bend down onto my knees before I can pull from my knees further up. oh what a shit story <laughs> I think I'll just be Getting in shorts in the morning, if at all possible, and, and working out the pants maybe as I'm sitting in the driver's seat later on, or something. 